Hi guys! Today we are going to check the picture quality of different video input sources from Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube, the Nintendo Switch and of course from the Seal set box that offers Full HD and SD TV programs. But before we start I would like to mention two things. Number one, this video was recorded with iPhone 10, and number two, you are probably watching this video on your IPS monitor or LED TV set, so the picture in reality looks much much better. Time out! This is a nice scene from the last part of Pirates of Caribbean, where Philips P5 processor manages great to show the dark parts of the alley, but at the same time also the bright parts under the hot Caribbean sun. Keep in mind, this is not a 4K nor AGR movie. The TV series Lost in Space is an excellent example how great the HDR is. I must say that I really wish to have more 4K materials available for my TV. Amazon Prime looks as great as Netflix and Jack Ryan is a good example how the 4K should look like. The picture quality on the set-top box depends heavily on the internet bandwidth and the compression used by the provider. Full HD looks ok, but it would be nice to see the picture quality as it can be seen on Netflix or Amazon Prime. Every large TV struggles heavily with SD TV programs. P5 does a great job here, but SD will always look normal only on prehistoric TV sets. Spoiler alert! YouTube does not support HDR on this TV set. But I swear, the picture looks much better on TV than here on this video and I could be easily misled by thinking that it actually is using HDR.
It is good to know that this game has a lag when playing on any TV, plasma, LED or OLED, so don't blame my TV. That's all for now. So what are my final thoughts? Well, Netflix and Amazon Prime are must for such TV. And I really hope that cable and internet providers will offer 4K HDR material soon, at least here in Slovenia. So thank you very much for watching my channel. Stay tuned because more videos are on the way. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.